sure, why not? You know, um, people have been after me for a long time by because I've been speaking to disaffected young men. You know, what a terrible thing to do that is. thought the marginalized were supposed to have a voice. It's making you emotional to talk about it. Well, God, you know. It's very difficult to understand how demoralized people are. And certainly, many young men are in that category. And you get these casual insults, these these incels. What do they mean? It's like, well, these men, they're... They don't know how to make themselves attractive to women who are very picky and good for them. Women like be picky. That's, that's your gift, man. Demand high standards from your men. Fair enough. But all these men who are alienated, it's like they're lonesome and, and, and they don't know what to do and everyone piles abuse on them. When she said that, Olivia Wilde, it, it stung you, didn't it? I saw the Oh, reaction. by that time, you know, that as far as, as criti- critiques go, that was kind of low level. I mean, once I got painted as Red Skull, you know, magical super Nazi, that was kind of the end of the insults. There's no place past that. So when Olivia Wilde made those comments, the first thing I did was go look at the preview for her movie, which I quite liked. I thought I would go see that movie probably, and perhaps I will. It didn't really bother me. My my family and I talked about it right away, and we were able to respond to it with some degree of humor, which <laughs> then people completely misunderstood. I said I hope that, you know, that if I had to be played by someone, I think it's Chris Wilde, is mm. that? He's a very good-looking man, and so that seems all right, you know. And then I said something like, I hope he gets my, my uh, fashion style choice right when he <laughs> plays me. And it was a joke. All that was a joke. I mean, you've been so controlled today, and yet in that brief moment, you got very emotional. Why? It's really something to see constantly how many people are dying for a lack of an encouraging word. Mm. And how easy it is to provide that if you're careful, you know, give credit where credit is due. And to say, you're a net force for good if you want to be. Do you believe you're a net force for good? Net? Yes. In all the details? Probably not. You know, no one's perfect. So... People make their mistakes as they stumble uphill.